Hello fellow builders and welcome back to the bench. Video Commodler here and we are on part two of our Moff Gideon build. Okay. Okay, it's been a little bit of a contentious week here with the 3D printers. They're kind of divas and they've been acting up. They're they're working properly right now. We just don't wanna so we're gonna just talk real lightly about what's going on with them. But Anyway, we've been doing so well with our 3D printing this week, and we've gotten a lot of accomplished. Let's start with the front piece. <clears throat> so, actually jumped ahead and I started some sanding a little bit, but the whole point of getting the 3D files printed I knew that my chest was going to be too broad. And so once you got two front pieces doing going together, this is how wide it is, right? And I'm just like, it feels like a little kid's chest piece. So I had to bump it out. And I did that by doing an expander, okay? So basically all I did was I took this end right here went into fusion 360 and then plotted these points which made an expansion ring and had one of my buddies from model building sunday i took the pieces with me and we just kind of decided well how wide should it be okay we decided on 75 millimeters and so what we have now is we went from a motorcycle fairing to a truck truck fairing <laughs> But, <clears throat> all right, it's a little bit bigger. I think it's a little better size to my chest. Once I have all the pieces uh, printed, it'll be a little bit better. But right now, I'm at the point of, since I do have some of these pieces printed, sticking together. If just I was sticking the two pieces together, it's really not, not that bad. Um, You've got the pieces are only going to flex like this. And since it's on an arch, if they're, you know, they're not going to flex that much. But the problem, I have three separate pieces. And so that it can flex in several different ways. So to solve that, I'm going to try and reinforce the back using, I've, I've got this metal rod. And there's a natural arch right there on the front side, which makes a valley on the back. And I'm going to just go on ahead and glue the rod into that valley. That should line it up pretty good. I'm gonna clip it down. I was thinking about maybe even doing a metal plate to keep everything in alignment. That might be overkill. The metal might be, uh, that's pretty sturdy. That's probably gonna be enough. Uh, if I do two of those, one at the bottom, one at the top, I should be good. Now, that's the front piece. Well, I had to do the same for the back pieces. And, let's see. Like these, this is the lower back. And normally, you know, there you go. All right. Well, I'm broader in the back than that. So to match the front, I made a spacer for the back. And that spacer is right here. See, it says lower. <laughs> Same 75 millimeters. And we're gonna, it goes, it lines up just like that. And so, Boom, boom, boom. So instead of that, we have the three pieces. It's going to make the back box a little bit bigger, but I think for my size, it'll be appropriate. I'm gonna start with the back as far as gluing the pieces together and, and getting them reinforced because we're going to fiberglass it. I still don't, 
I'm on the fence as to whether I need to put in something to keep it all flat. And for the back, that should be fairly simple. The front is a little bit, it's a little bit contentious because you have all these compound angles going all these different, but for the back, it's just gonna be a big rectangle. So in theory, I should be able to cut out a rectangle in say, fiberboard or something, lay it in there and lay the fiberglass on top of it. And the reason I don't want to just, that's six pieces that can flex in all these different directions. I'll probably have to tackle something on the front, but we're gonna practice on the back first. So that being the case, where it's stinky or dirty. So what does that mean? We do it in the shed. So this should be simple. Like I said I already pre-cut my pieces of fiberglass. I'm good to go. All I gotta do is mix this up, lay it, and then then all we can do is just let it sit. So we'll just get this mixed up real quick. Cue the music. If ever there was a poster child for a stinky or dirty do it out in the shed, it would be doing this with the fiberglass. Not that hard to do, but it stinks to high heaven. So you always have to make sure you're using, doing it in a well ventilated area. Definitely wear your gloves. You're going to get it all over your hands if you don't. And it's just good courtesy for the other people that live in your house to not stink up the place for the rest of the evening. It takes a little while for the smell to dissipate. Stranded Warrior project for Interfleet Broadcasting, I had the bright idea of building two helmets, one out of filament, the other one out of resin. But the resin one was coming along a lot faster, so, and this was going to require a lot more work, so I kind of abandoned it. But I didn't throw it away because I knew at some point I would want to finish it. Back out here. 
Let's see my glass black. Glass clear. Ooh, plasti dip. We got plasti dip. I might save the plasti dip for that. Automotive filler primer. Why you wear your gloves? Because <laughs> every time I turn around, just put my hand down and get Bondo or something on it.
we're going to call this good. And again, thank God for the shed. Come back in a couple of days and take it from there. Always things to do. Just because the battery died doesn't mean we can't come in here and work the front desk because that's what what we need to uh, get moving on. It's been glued together. I used this rod to align the three pieces, so it's it's glued. I'm I'm still going to bondo. Um, yeah, I'm going to find fiberglass this, but I have to get the rest of the pieces glued on, get this all glued together. And then I need to start working the front. Man, there's a lot of work. <laughs> So many times. It's almost overwhelming, and then you just get to the point where you go, yep, let's just get it done. We just got to do it. Just start gluing stuff together, and we'll fix it in post. Yeah, see. This is the thing. These are the things that make me afraid. I'm going to glue that. Uh, the gaps are so huge. <laughs> I'm going to hit that with the sander, flatten that out a little bit, that's fairly flat, Let's see if we can get this done. Before I do that, I did a good wet sand on this shoulder pauldron, and it's so smooth, it's so incredibly smooth. And I didn't do that with this one. I just, so I'm going to, I want to wet sand this and then I'm going to paint both of these, but just, this feels like the surface of a bowling ball. It's just so, and it looks good too. Look at that. Look at all the interesting little swirls in there. Yeah. I'm very happy with that. Very happy with that. But. couldn't put it off any longer it was time to get this front piece assembled whether I liked it or not and it was a bit of a jigsaw puzzle trying to get all the pieces lined up and matched up but what else you gonna do I was left with just a little bit of a gap that I needed to fill, so I'm using styrene to fill the gap. Luckily, it was just the right size to glue in, and I can trim it down to where everything's flush.
And again, since I'm heading out of town, I might as well get this fiberglass that it could be drying and curing while I'm gone. So let's get this cut out and back to the shed we go. Well, I spent way more time out in the shed than I expected to do this week. But it was all good stuff. Uh, trust me, with the smells that I've got going on out there, it was just really, I'm just glad I could do it out there and not in here. I've got a couple of mics. I know there's a little, there's a little mouse in there. With all the fumes, he might be a little bit high. <laughs> so <laughs> I have to find out if I've got a drunk this mouse stumbling around out there. So, but it was all part of the plan, you know. Especially since I have to go out of town, it was a, it was a good idea to get all that done. But that begs the question: What are you planning on building? What have you got in the works? What what mice are you trying to get high? <laughs> hey, you know, it is what it is. But it's time for you to go build something. Let's get something going. There's a there's a break in the weather and there's time to get that. It's 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 fake spring. So, you know, let's get some stuff done. Let's let's uh Take advantage of this little bit of warm weather and, and do some things you, you might not necessarily be able to do at this time of year. But until next time, you'll be able to sand that armor down, maybe get a coat of paint on there, get everything looking good. Until then, have fun, be safe. Pew, 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 pew.